Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an empties video on everything you see in this bag here. And also some empties that I have in front of me. I actually see another one on my counter. I need to go get it. But I'm going to be explaining to you guys if I will be repurchasing why, why not. And if you guys do like these videos, please give them a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's just get on into it. My empties are everything, like skincare, makeup, hair care, candle. Hopefully there's more than one. I think I have two candles same one but two and just different things that I have collected that maybe some of you may want to review on or may want an opinion on so I'm going to be showing you all of that we're going to start with hair care so I dyed my hair in May and I needed to find hair care that would work for my hair because I do have dandruff and I wanted not to spend so much money on shampoo and conditioner I just don't see the point in doing that and I'm so sorry if I stop or cough and stuff like that I just I'm kind of sick so but here's the Garnier for cheese pure clean aloe extract condition it is silicone free paraben free and it's a vegan formula so most shampoos and conditioners from the drugstore they do strip the color out of your hair very quickly and I was trying to find something that wouldn't strip my hair so much that I could use it at affordable you know it's affordable price I do have some hair care products I'll be showing you guys in just a little bit um that didn't kind of work out for me that I spent a lot of money on because I thought it would change my life but I saw this and I thought it was really cool I really like the smell of it still um it still smells like fruities I don't know if people have used this before or if you've seen it but I think it's a really good thing like really good conditioner it does its job it still is like a conditioner it doesn't make it worse it doesn't tangle your hair it actually does the job and it's all of these you know silicone paraben free and it's a vegan formula and it hasn't stripped the color out of my hair so i really do like this and i did repurchase it i have i repurchased it like three four times already so i do like this so here's a hair care product that didn't help and i spent a lot of money on this is the brio geo scalp revival charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo this actually made my dandruff worse so i bought this three times two times i only have two of them but i think i bought it three times because i thought hey you know my hair is really used to head and shoulders because that's what i used before i colored my hair but i don't use it anymore because my hair is colored and i thought hey let me try brogio has good reviews let me try it this actually made my danger worse it never made it better i tried the shampoo from the actual salon and that actually made my dandruff worse so price of these are 50 dollars, and they don't last very long especially with your hair very thick and i do use a lot of shampoo to really make sure i get everything you know all you know all my hair and stuff like that so this would last me maybe a month maybe even that so i would have to pay 50 dollars every single month to get a new shampoo which i don't have that all the time so i decided just to go back to a drugstore shampoo instead of paying 50 dollars for these of course the simple microcellar makeup wipes these ones are my absolute favorite i go through packages and packages and packages of these i don't keep them all i just throw them away the best drugstore makeup removing wipe ever the neutrogena ones suck by the way so all the ones that people are like they're so good they're not so i went through two tula cleansers purifying face cleansers i did change my cleanser to a glycolic acid cleanser which i'll maybe is in here maybe not but i'll talk about that in just a little bit but i did use tula for a long time i did see a difference in my skin but then my skin started getting a lot of acne so this really never helped but i did like the cleanser if you do have just normal skin that really doesn't have acne because I feel like it doesn't help the acne skin but it's a good cleanser if you just have normal skin and would I repurchase these yes if I had normal skin another cleanser that I did try is the confidence in a cleanser by it cosmetics this is the worst thing ever I never saw a difference in this will never repurchase this I spent my money on it and I was like maybe I'm anti-aging I was like mm, let's just try it worst thing in the world did nothing for me sunscreen a a lot of people don't really talk about sunscreen on YouTube as much. I know some people have been talking about it a lot more, but I found a sunscreen that I really do like. This is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost sunscreen in SPF 50. You can find this at Ulta in the sunscreen section. I love this. It's a gel formula, so it really does sink into my skin because I do have oily combination to oily skin, so it really does sink into the skin. I really love it. I have another bottle that's empty but is dirty and I decided not to show it, and I'm on my fourth, fifth bottle over there. The thing with this sunscreen is that if it gets in your eyes which of course any sunscreen gets in your eyes it's gonna burn like a beach but let me tell you 
I won't get in my eyes and at the end of the night I'll start rubbing my eyes because I'm tired I'm just like sweating I'm just like ugh, whatever and it still burns from because this is still on my skin so get this in your eyes and ugh, the it's like death. So this is the Oleg Hendrickson Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. I have two of them in here. I never saw a difference in this. I felt like my acne stayed the same. I felt like my skin was the same. I really never saw a difference. So I decided to go a different route. I did see a dermatologist and she said to get glycolic acid toner and cleanser to help with the acne. But this, I did repurchase it a couple times because I thought, hey, you know, I'm using a toner. It's going to help my skin. It really never did anything for me. A toner that I did see a difference was the Mari Badescu glycolic acid toner. This is the blue one. I just repurchased it. I know that if you have acne, glycolic acid toners will help you. If you don't have acne, of course, course this uh, bouncy force toner would be great for you. I know so many people worry about it and think it's great. It just didn't help me. But I do see a difference in this toner and how it makes my skin feel and makes my skin look. So definitely try this out if you have acne prone skin. It's really helped my skin out. Another thing that has helped my acne scars is the Derma E Scar Gel. This you can buy at Ulta for about you know, 20 bucks and it really does help. The thing with this is that it takes time. Any kind of acne scar gel or hyperpigmentation gel or cream, those take a lot of time to actually take effect. So I know you may purchase this and be like, oh my god, I don't see a difference right away. You won't see a difference for about three to six months. Be consistent with it and you will see a difference. I have seen a difference with this so definitely check it out so the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion I go through these a lot this is my face lotion so I go in with a sunscreen I go over it with a regular moisturizer and this is the one I use does the job super beautiful and I've been using it for a long time body lotion I use the Jergens hydrating coconut lotion it has coconut oil and coconut water 24-hour moisture any kind of Jergens lotion is the best definitely check them out they're the best lotions that I've been using in my whole life so definitely check the Jergens brand out you don't have to get the coconut one if you are sensitive to coconut but I feel like it is really hydrating and keeps my skin hydrated all day and again these two products since I don't really talk about it, I will repurchase these two things. I repurchase them every single time I go to the store. This is the Ole Hendrickson Sea Bright Sea Brush Brightening Gel Cream. Beautiful, love this. I wish they had small ones like this because the big one is like so expensive. But um, I did love this eye cream. If you're younger, teens early adults you know 20s start using eye cream it changes your life I'm telling you my mom had told me i wish i would have used eye cream at your age and things would have been different with my skin so definitely check out an eye cream and just start using it see which ones work for you but this one's really good candle champagne toast if you've never tried this where have you been are you living under a rock here? Like what? what is going on? This is the best scent. The only scent I buy from Bath and Body Works. I'm actually very sensitive to perfumes, candle scents, those like pine cones that have scents. Ugh, disgusting. This never makes me have a headache. It never makes me want to throw up. This is life. And I went through a whole one. I know it seems like I have some. There's nothing left. Okay, nothing. The e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, one of the best drugstore face uh, poreless primers that there is. Beautiful. I will repurchase this once I go through all my other primers. It's a great product. Also, the Smashbox Primerizer. Guys, this was the, like, oh my god. Just, like, nobody really talks about it anymore. But this is one of the best drugstore hydrating primers out there again i would repurchase it i just have so many primers i'm going through currently sunscreens that didn't work and will not repurchase this is the nivea sun super water gel in spf 50 does nothing it's really just it feels like water and it does it just doesn't it sinks really quick into your skin but it leaves you dry it's not a good one it makes you have a white cast all over your face no matter how much regular moisturizer you put on so this makes you dry this keeps you white will not repurchase. Some little bit of makeup, like other makeup. This is the Lily Lashes and So Extra Mykonos. I know like they they look fine. <laughs> I will never repurchase these. These are too big. I saw them on the website and I really didn't like how they looked. I bought them for my graduation and the day came and they were so big and so bulky. If you're looking for Mykonos, just get the regular ones. So extras are for people that have big ass eyes. I have little eyes, so it didn't work out. But um, Lily Lashes are really comfortable, really nice. I just don't like 
this style. I like the regular Mykonos instead. So I won't mean won't be repurchasing these, but I will repurchase the regular ones. Liners. Woo! The NYX matte liquid liner. I already repurchased it. One of the best drugstore liners ever. This is the Benefit Roller Lash Liner. This is in the black color. I'm going to compare this to a liner I've been wearing since I started makeup. So the Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Liner. It's a felt tip just like this. Just like that. I've been wearing that liner since I started makeup back in the days. Even before I started my channel, I've been wearing that liner. That liner has never run like on my face ever when I cried. That has never smudged, has never transferred, has done nothing. It's one of the best felt tip liners I've ever used in my life. So I wore this, the Brother Lash Liner, to my graduation um, because I thought, hey, I need to try something new. It was raining at my graduation and there was a lot of crying because obviously I graduate college. This ran like all the way down smudged everywhere transferred everywhere worst liner I've ever actually used I like doing it on the back of my hand right now and like nothing's going on I'm like really you're lying I don't like this liner will not repurchase it it's just not a liner I would use I would definitely try the Kat Von D one I know a lot of people don't you know, supporter, blah, whatever. Just try a different one. This didn't work for me. Mascara. This is the CoverGirl Lash Bass Waterproof Mascara in the Orange Tube. Or you purchased it. Best mascara ever. I went through a whole dark brown dip brow from Anastasia. Air dried up. Best dip brow out there great love the color i use brow wiz a lot actually now i think it's a really good brow product if you want something heavier more instagram but brow wiz if you want like an everyday look the fenty gloss bomb i already have another one in my car and i repurchased one if you saw my instagram please follow me on instagram you'll see all my hauls that i do but um this is the fenty beauty gloss bomb and fussy i went through a whole one i'm finishing up another one that's why i bought a repurchase of it best gloss ever when i go to work i put this on anytime i go into my car i put it on just to make sure my lips are hydrated and nice and pretty and put together this helps my lips stay hydrated all day it has been a little bit drier where i live so i haven't i had to like re put it on but usually it lets me keep my lips not chapped all day last but not least this is a kylie skin vitamin c serum i went through a whole one and let me tell you i don't know if it changed my life or it changed my skin i didn't really see anything but it's because i feel like it, it probably doesn't work with the other skincare products i'm using so i'm gonna try to another i'm gonna try another vitamin c product but i did go through a whole one i didn't see a difference but maybe it only works with just her skincare line i definitely want to try it out like the whole skincare line and see how it works but that is all of my empties for 2019 i don't think i did I think I did an empties last year. These are all of my 2019 empties here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do like it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.